Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. I am back with another week in the life day that I have put together. This is Friday and it is part of an Allie Edwards project in the scrapbooking community. And today is actually the first day of this year's project. So I'm super excited to share this video and also to start on another year of documenting, another week of documenting. I only got up to Friday before this year's project started, but that's okay. I think I am going to go ahead and finish up Saturday and Sunday, and then hopefully I can share those with you guys. Now, if you remember, my son had gone on a field trip during this week, and he was coming back on Friday. I think he left on Wednesday and was coming back Friday, so I got a picture of him returning, and I positioned the word phrase sticker and also, not word phrase sticker, but the craft one, that phrase adventure, I placed that right below the vellum sheet and then also had a yellow chipboard that I stamped observations and I'll just wait to adhere that later. I really wanted to make sure that it was dry. For the back of that six by eight photo, I couldn't remember what I had planned. And then when I had started to kind of clean up my phone for this year's project, I discovered this collage buried in my camera roll. It's actually a collage of the pro projects that I did during this week in the life. So I went ahead and printed it out at four by eight. And I'm just gonna do a stack of stamp sentiments using story kit stamps. And for this year's project, I'm definitely relying a lot on stamps. Um, I feel like that's going to be where I get a lot of my decorating is from my stamps. That's what I'm kind of feeling the push towards. Um, in my six by eight pocket, I had several different like craft word phrases to choose from, like AM, current outlook, and then today. I'm only going to use the today on the photo of me cooking breakfast, and I just put it right down at the bottom, trimmed off anything that's hanging over the edge, and then grabbed a word phrase sticker. I almost felt like working with Friday's colors was kind of hard because the kit had yellow and pink, but I was wearing blue, and I think a few of my family members were wearing blue too, so there was a lot of blue in my photos, but I think I did okay bringing everything together. I used a circle transparency that said good days, and I just stapled it and adding um, added a word phrase sticker to the bottom which said jumping in and I think that's the third time I've used those circles and just kept it really simple. I'm going to grab that six by eight um, piece of paper and figure out what stamp sentiments I want to use and of course I'll use a word phrase sticker up at the top. So I have creativity is intelligence, uh, having fun, makers gonna make, and do more of what makes you happy. And like I said, just stacking them in a column will make a really awesome visual impact and also just keep the emphasis on the various projects that I worked on. I had a screenshot of my Instagram. I was a guest storyteller for the now Allie Edwards kit, so I had my projects for that. I also worked on my Me album, my reading journal, and then last year I did a community project called Scrapbooking with Friends, and my project for that um, is right in the middle. Loved doing that community project through Instagram. It was so much fun. I finished this up by adding a word phrase sticker that says finding joy and then yay. And I decided to add a little bit of journaling down at the bottom to um, kind of explain what this collage is. I'd also really like to do more handwriting journaling for this year, but we will see because a lot of the time I just use my phone to take notes as I go because that's a lot easier. I can just do the voice, you know, voice to text type of thing, but we shall see. Maybe I can, you know, do some of it at the end of the day. So as you can see, a lot of these photos are of me and they're all in blue. So I really, for this particular spread, I focus mainly on just adding a little bit of pink and sticking with my 
stamps and then the other craft phrases that I had. So I put AM on the shadow photo of me walking into my daughter's school and then the selfie I did today and I'm going to do a stamped sentiment right below it. And I apologize if there's any glare. I print my photos through Persnickety and because they're have a little bit of shine to them they just appear shiny in the video when the light's shining on the photos so I had a craft uh, phrase that said currently but I'd already kind of used one of those in my selfie pictures so I thought about cutting apart pieces of my story and I'm actually going to go with that and cut it apart and figure out where I can place it for the photo of me standing at my desk, I had a lot of empty space in the bottom left-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp some phrases, stack them, and then put them in the corner. So I'll have so much joy and hobby, and then I will add a word phrase sticker. I also stamped, this is life right now, this is so me, and that's from Everyday Explorers. Using a different stamp maker for this project or this year's project 2023 was so different for me because I usually am very regimented I don't know if regimented is the right word but I don't want to like step outside the box and use something else besides Ali Edwards but I did for this project and it was a lot of fun to be able to have more options with my stamped phrases so I really enjoyed that I love adhering phrases directly onto the photos. It feels to me kind of like a old school scrapbook style when we used to just add all the stuff to photos, but I really love doing that and just adding some to the corners or the negative space that I have. The word phrase sticker I picked for the photo of me at my desk was new ideas. And all I do is I take the camera and a tripod that I have and I just set it on my kitchen counter and I'm able to get a photo of me and my space. And it's definitely a favorite photo to get during you know the week long project. Now for pieces of my story, I cut those apart because I knew it was not gonna all fit um, up at the top. I wanted to center it and you know thinking about it now I probably should have just gone with putting it over to the left and then I could have done pieces of and then the second line would be my story. So in the end I didn't realize that at the time so I wound up putting story down at the bottom and kind of covering up my feet. But it really doesn't matter because the point was to take a picture of my outfit every day and I loved doing that. It was so much fun. Now the tricky part though was figuring out on the back what I was going to add to the back. Most days I had something to add like a collage or you know something on the back and for one of the days I did like a highlights with my typewriter font stamp set. I did like a highlights of the day. For this one I'm going to do ing words. I also had gone through my uh, stash of transparency numbers and I found one that would match with the day for every single day of this album. So that was really fun to be able to use those and have another way to kind of emphasize what the date was. Now when I first picked out the 28, I think it was red, but since I had so much blue, I decided to go with blue. I wish I could have changed out that four, four, uh, four by four card that has the two by two sections. Um, Cause yeah, the yellow, the pink and the blue, it, we'll just say that it goes together, but I'm not quite so sure but that's okay I had no none of the extra cards uh for the four by four so it's just gonna have to work I stamped our days look like this and then I started with singing which my daughter had choir practice at 7 30 in the morning driving reading making moving and then I mentioned that after three years of working out with coach Kel I'm still loving it and continuing to find time to do that pretty much every day 
or most days. And then I also put talking um, about my talking with my son about his trip. And then the last one is going to be playing, which my daughter was playing Pokemon Go. At the bottom, I have a word phrase that says, or not word phrase, I keep getting it mixed up, but it's the craft words that I had printed out. I have one at the bottom that says document, and I'm going to have to scoot that down just a little bit because I really wanted to add in one more phrase. I just had to, <laughs> even though this typewriter stamp set, like I've mentioned many times, it's very old and none of the letters stay on. But it's on my summer project to-do list when I'm not working to kind of figure out what's going on with that stamp set and either salvage it or buy a replacement. So I am almost done with this little insert. And then I can move on to the 4x4 card that has the 2x2 two two blocks, which I've been using to do top three of the day and finding a stamp that will fit for the top three. I first started out by putting a little tiny phrase that says me and below that now. And I will be honest, I noticed when I printed this photo that there's a hair on my shirt. So using those two little phrases helped kind of cover it up. I also added two blue stickers to my stack of ingredients for a breakfast bowl and I put capture ordinary. So the first thing I do to make this top three card is stamp the three, then kind of go looking in my stash for what is going to represent the top three. Now, I did put laundry, um, and I made my top three list back when I first documented, so I have no idea why I put laundry as a top three. Maybe because I was super productive with the laundry? I'm not sure. But I stamped every single day, and I, I just, I'm going to jot a little note that says my method is one load per day, but folding is the problem, at least for me around here. I also stamped explore, say yes to new adventures, and home. Um, home is uh, not a place, it's a feeling, and then comfy. So, and then I just jot down a little note below each of them. So the explore is for my son returning home safely and hearing all about it, and plus throwing him into the shower. Comfy is cuddling all together on the couch, um, and just being all together now since we hadn't been together for um, a, p a majority of the week. And then on the back of that page protector, I will move into kind of the late afternoon and also the evening. For many years, I have just gone chronological as far as putting together my pictures. But I think for 2023, I just worked out how it was going to look best for my my spreads like what did I want to be four by four so that's kind of how I did it for this particular year but for the most part it did stay chronological it's really hard for me to kind of break that method and if I follow Allie Edwards philosophy if it works don't fix it you know it's okay to keep repeating different elements and so chronological just really works for me I had to pull out the 4x4 four four photos on the back. One is me up really late reading my book, and the other is a photo of my husband and myself that my our daughter had taken. I'm going to add a little phrase to the bottom left corner of where I'm reading, and it's going to say loving and then currently reading. I also have a 2x2 two two card that I took highs and lows, and I just cut it apart the highs and the lows. And I just did this based off of the photos because I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but this was one of the days during the week that I had not done any journaling. Friday and Sunday were the days that I had no journaling, which always stinks for me because it's hard to go back and kind of remember all the little details. So for this Friday, I was trying to remember all the little things. I couldn't really think of any lows except for staying up late to do laundry. But again, when I had documented from the beginning or taken notes of the top three, I said that the laundry was a top three top thing for the day so I don't know we'll just go with that the low was laundry 
the highs was picking up my son, getting a workout in, and then um, my daughter and husband getting some time together. So the page on the left-hand side is done. I also have a four by six horizontal insert because I got a family dinner photo. So I'm gonna work on that in just a little bit. I need to stamp the currently reading and then go ahead and cut that out. Inside the pocket, I had stuck some really big words like Friday and evening, and I think that's it, just two big ones, and I know that I'm gonna use both of them because I had done just a little bit of journaling about my husband and I cooking together and also um, what the meal was and talking together at the dinner table. And again, I don't know specifically what we were talking about at the table because I didn't take, you know, notes on Friday, which is always a bummer. So that's why as we go into this coming week, I hope that I can get the notes down for every single day because um, that would be fantastic. It makes it so much easier if you're the type of person who loves journaling, it definitely makes it so much easier to have those notes on your phone, even if it's the voice to text, which sometimes can be a little tricky because you'll look back at it and you'll be like, there's a lot of spelling errors or I have no idea what that says. Like it's a jumbled mess. So going back at the end of the day and kind of proofreading is another trick to using that voice to text. And like with my daughter's name, it's constantly coming up with different variations of it. So I always have to go back and fix those. Um, so for this four by six card, I have Friday up at the top and then evening right below it. I put the sticker journaling first and then the evening because I knew the G was not gonna need it any adhesive so that way if I wanted to lift up the G at some point to see the journaling I could added a chipboard that says home life and then I'm going to stamp some icons from an everyday explorers stamp set that's a stamp set that I wish Allie Edwards had is just some basic icons I don't know if she ever has had one maybe she has but Anyways, I stamped a house, a smiley face, and then a heart. And on the family photo, I thought about digging out another, you know, brown um, kind of craft paper phrase, the ones that I'm using throughout the album, but decided to just keep it simple and grab the phrase that says saving this feeling because um, I absolutely love family dinners. I know my husband does, uh, does too, but my kids could take them or leave them. But for me, I absolutely love them. So over on this page, I have uh, two pockets where I could put different journaling or different embellishments. I decided, you know, again, I didn't have a lot of journaling, so I'm just going to kind of make two uh, filler cards. So the first one's going to have life routine with the brown words, and then below that I will stamp around here. I also put uh, fry F-R-I right on my daughter's photo and I liked how the F was level with the top of the seat in the car so I thought that, that was pretty cool that that worked out. I also decided to have a transparency pocket and just rearrange some of the photos on the back so that way I could have a transparent pocket and have like a floating embellishment and I just use a laminated sheet from my laminator like once it's laminated and ran through you have some basically plastic so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to just grab a little scrap of that and adhere down the chipboard that says the basics and then put currently right below it I think it actually said currently beginning or something so I just cut off the beginning that I didn't need and again just put it all on that little transparency piece and trimmed off what I don't need and slip it into the pocket and then I don't put anything on the back of my transparency I have done that in the past quite a bit where I put something on the back but for this project I didn't I just I was an M really trying to finish up 2023 because I still have not done 2021 and 22. I'm actually thinking for 2020 since honestly that was kind of a hard year um, and it's something that I'd rather just get over quickly uh, to maybe do it in the journal. 
and kind of simplify everything and just get the photos printed because I did take photos and I did take some notes. Um, so that's how I'm going to get over that little stumbling block is get 2020 maybe done in the summer and then I can move forward with the rest of the albums that I need to do or want to do, I guess I should say. So I put a word that says moments above my people cuddling on the couch. And then I made another filler card that has documenting good stuff. You know, again, I might have put journaling on some of these two two by twos, but I didn't have the notes and that's okay. Having the photos is just enough. So I just want to emphasize that you can do, pro- you, I was going to say project life. You can do week in the life any way you want, whichever way works for you. For me, I just know that having the journaling in that moment makes it, you know, like I said, much easier. So as I was going to put together Friday, I realized I have a selfie with every single one of my people. So I'm just going to make that a six by eight page. Um, I had a photo of my daughter and I cuddling while we were reading. And then my son saying to me, you know, that he still fits in my lap. So I took a photo of that. And then I have a photo of my husband and I kind of watching TV later on. And then I just staggered the photos on top of me, my kids and I, and then my husband is kind of more vertical. And then I'll have another column of stamping and phrases. So I have yes, and then I have a little tag stamp that says finding comfort in small moments currently, and then love. And I love how this turned out. It's so simple and so quick, but I just love how there was all these photos of my family members. I love it. And then on the back is going to be another six by eight that says tell the story. For most of my days that I had been putting this together, I actually had screenshots for the last six by eight uh, photo. But for Friday, I did not have a lot of screenshots. So I just went ahead and did a large six by eight photo, added tell the story right below it. And I love that. And now I can work on the book, which um, on Wednesday, I am hoping I, I've got it started, but I'm hoping Wednesday I can share with you a little prep video for this year because I've, I've made some more pockets, a little bit of a different style, and I've also made a journal, uh, another journal set, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So that should be Wednesday. So when you open the book, you see Friday and then basically a timeline and I take notes throughout the day and then just add in some stamped phrases. So like now, today looks like this. Currently, I also use some icons and then I just use the letter Z to kind of indicate where I was sleeping. And I could have done that on the left hand side as well, but I I didn't think about it. I have some journaling on the right hand side and I stamped Monday through Sunday with my black ink and then lovely little things in pink and I had a lot of space at the bottom because again I didn't have a lot of journaling which is fine because I can you know use my stamps to kind of play play with my stamps a little bit more and just use them to fill in that space a little bit more. And usually when I do my stamps at the bottom on this journaling page, I like to do my stamps up at the top on the next journaling page, but I forgot. So both of these pages are going to have some stamping at the bottom. And I really didn't wind up with a lot of room to stamp on this back journaling page um, because I had a lot more uh, journaling to add. And I actually used a lot more time references in this particular day of journaling. And I don't adhere my journaling in one giant block. I actually had a lot of problems with that when I first started putting this album together. So I just go with cutting the large block apart and then putting it together section by section. I'm going to use a dot heart stamp that I absolutely love. It's just a subtle little heart and I stamp it three different times and then I'll stamp capturing life and then add a sticker that says the story. And I'm doing again something similar, you know, with my journal, having a journal this year, but this year I'm not doing the dot grid page because my printer tends to smear or make the journaling 
like the typed journaling looked kind of smudged or smeared, like I said. Um, so I want to make sure that it's clear to see. And I also will do a bigger font this particular year. So I stamped make and conversations. And then I'm also going to do a sad face because I was having stomach issues again. And that is pretty much it. I didn't do a lot for the INGs and I didn't put anything on what I want to remember because I didn't take notes and I didn't, I couldn't really come up with anything and that's okay. So going back to the beginning, that way I can show you how it all looks. First, I have to add on the observations chipboard. I use double-sided adhesive tape and again, just put it right below the vellum stamping that I had done. And I made those vellum inserts last year with digital stamps and then printing them out and adding in those large chipboard numbers. So you start with that opening page and then it has a six by eight photo, which I love starting with. I think I've done that method for years and years. Next up is another six by eight page, which I've done a lot of different topics throughout this particular album, which has been fun. And then I have kind of the morning and then a list of ING words, the top three, kind of my morning and how my morning was going. Then I move into the afternoon and what that looked like and also the evening. And then I have a four by six insert for family dinner time and how family dinner went. And then some more two by two photos. And then another fun little six by eight page of my family and I with like different selfies, our front porch strawberries. And then finally, the little journaling insert that I have to add in all that extra journaling. And on the back of that is my ING page. And I think this one was learning. So love it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.